Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is April the 5th, 2016. This is also known as Go For Broke Day. All right. As of 7.32 p.m. Eastern Time, we have experienced 221 earthquakes thus far, six of which eclipsed the magnitude 5 category. The two strongest earthquakes for the day struck the Philippines, a rather intense 5.7 and a 5.1. Speaking of the Philippines, a lot of you will remember the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck the area in 1990. That was one of the most destructive quakes to strike in recent memory. The earthquake hit the northern part of Luzon, leaving about 2,412 people dead and nearly half a billion dollars worth of damage to property. Next up, we have a 5.1 that struck Indonesia, a 5.0 that rattled Papua New Guinea, and finally, two interesting quakes that struck Uzbekistan and India. Notice a pattern yet? If not, you will. It will become clearer as we review the following. We have had almost as many magnitude 4 earthquakes today, 9 in fact. Micronesia continues to experience movement. They clocked in a 4.9 today that struck the federal states. Guam also clocked in a 4.9. The Philippines once again on the map with two additional earthquakes, a 4.8 and a 4.6. Santa Cruz das Flores, Portugal, clocked in a 4.7. Our pals in Alaska experienced movement in and around Chicleek Lake. The strongest there being a 4.3. Moving across the Bering Sea, we'll see that Russia registered a 4.5. And once again, Indonesia and Papua New Guinea experienced a 4.6 and a 4.5. The pattern here is this. Not only have today's more interesting earthquakes struck around the Ring of Fire, but with the exception of the earthquakes in Alaska, Portugal, Uzbekistan, and India, these earthquakes have originated primarily along the Pacific Plate. That's a lot of movement centralized in one area. What especially concerns me is that the seismically hot areas like Chile have completely gone quiet. That pressure could be potentially building up and could result in a powerful earthquake within the foreseeable future. With that being said, let's keep our eyes peeled on areas along the Nazca and the Pacific Plates. Before moving on, let's focus on Hawaii for a moment. We have talked about the increase in earthquake activity rattling Hawaii recently. Well, all that came to a head today when 18 struck the region. 66% of these earthquakes had an epicenter in or around the volcano. On top of all this, they have begun to see an increase in lava flow atop their volcano complex. Now that is interesting. Looking at the United States, Washington continues to experience movement. In fact, an unusual earthquake struck Alt Field today, a 3.5 just outside of British Columbia. The remaining notable earthquake struck Cheney with a 1.9, Venersburg with a 1.4, and Kalama with a 1.1. Oregon has also been busy. Six have struck the Beaver State thus far. Lakeview with four, a two, a 1.9, a 1.8, and a 1.3. Not to be left out, Sweet Home also experienced a 1.8. Anyone who has been following recent seismic movement in Oregon will recognize that this kind of activity hasn't been experienced in quite some time. California hasn't seen all that many earthquakes today. Only 64 clocked in so far. However, we have seen an interesting swarm striking in or around Valencia and the Sierra Madre Fault Zone. The two strongest experienced in the state actually originated from there today, a 3.1 and a 2.5. Two additional noteworthy earthquakes were experienced in California as well, a 2.1 in Ferndale and a 2.2 in Huron. Nevada's earthquake swarm has returned. 60 have been registered so far today, 51 of which struck Hawthorne. Speaking of which, some of the earthquakes to strike this area have been pretty intense. We have experienced a 3.1, a 2.9, a 2.6, and the list goes on. Idaho and Montana experienced some movement today as well. Vector Idaho clocked in at 1.8. Montana, care of Lincoln, registered at 1.2. Helena Valley, northwest, with a 1.5. And Townsend, with a 1.3. Oklahoma has clocked in 4. Perry with 2, a 2.9 and a 2.8. Cushing with a 2.7. And Alva with a 2.6. And finally, Caldwell, Kansas, was rattled by a 2.6 as well. And... That is it for the Earthquake Report, folks. If you experienced an earthquake today or if you'd like to chime in 
on today's events or anything else, please post below. We'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with the video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah! Thank you.